Today we're going to show you how to remove and replace the rear speakers in a Saturn Outlook. Uh, we brought, got this car in the shop yesterday. Uh, right speakers were out. Today we tested it and all speakers are out except for the tweeters and the pillars. Uh, we also uh, have a video on our website that can help you with the color codes for hooking up aftermarket speakers. See our website and trace it through to this video. And uh, let's get started. We're going to start the uh, back edge of the panel, door panel, and pry this small trim panel along the back edge from the door. There are two clips. Make sure they are removed with the uh, panel. Next, with our pry bar, we're going to remove the insert on the handhold for the door panel. This is going to give access to two torque screws top and bottom. And then we're also going to open up the handhold. There's a little pry mark at the back here, an opening where you can pull on this small panel and this small panel will remove. And this is also going to access a torque screw. We have a full library removal guides on our website at carstereohelp.com. Uh, again, we have uh, help with hooking up aftermarket and how to install aftermarket on this. With these uh, three screws removed, this is going to allow us to pry the door panel from the door. Uh, there are several clips around this door, and these clips are very difficult to release. Now, with these three screws removed, it's going to allow us to attempt to pry this door panel from the uh, door. Again, these clips are, are very difficult. You can use your knee against the uh, uh, door frame in order to use it for uh, prying against. And then we're going to move to the bigger tools here just to get the uh, first clip released. And that does not sound good, but that's the correct sound for this panel. We have several clips coming up the back, along the bottom as well. Again, pulling the panel loose from the panel. And we're going to lift it up over the door lock and pull it back from the door. This is going to give us access to the main connector down at the control panel. This control panel is screwed into the door so it doesn't remove. This connector has a trigger on one side that you squeeze down and that will release the connector. Next we have the linkage for the door panel. Now there is a clip here, and we're going to turn this clip around a little bit. Get this back in. And usually uh, that's how it works right there. What we have here is um, two flanges on each side of this clip. And you can see the opening between the flange there. And usually what works best is taking your needle nose pliers and going into this clip and squeezing it together and then it'll pass back through the hole and allow you to move the ball at the end of the cable from the linkage. Now when it comes to reinstalling this door panel, the uh, ball is going to fit into the opening. We're going to pull the, cable, the uh, linkage or the plastic on the linkage back to pull the cable through the opening and then it'll snap right back into place here. And, uh, ready for installation. Now with this uh, door panel removed, we have one screw at the top of the speaker, uh, seven millimeter. This is gonna allow us to remove the uh, speaker from the door. This is a simple removal. We're gonna pry the top edge from the door. It hinges down and gives access to the main connector. The main connector also has a trigger on the side of it. And we're gonna push that trigger down and this will allow the connector to come out. We're going to pull the wires off of the frame. Uh, see our website for uh, the modifications for putting aftermarket in here. Uh, it'll be along with the Outlook removal guides. Now we're reinstalling the door panel. We have the uh, linkage hooked up along with the connector for the main 
uh, control panel and when we go to put it on we want to make sure that the uh, door lock comes up through the opening. And then we're going to pull the door panel back up, place it into the window jam across the top of the window, the top leading edge. It should go on and rest in there. And then we're going to come around to the sides of the panel. Now at the end of the panel we have the black clips going into this white ring. And before pushing the door panel into place here, we want to make sure these clips all line up with the opening here. That way they come right back on and we can snap the panel back into place. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.